Pictures of indigenous children line the walls of what is now Shingwak Hall, located in the main building of Algoma University's Sault Ste. Marie campus. They are the children of Shingwak. The president of the Children of Shingwak Alumni Association, whose mother attended the school and was a founding member of the group, urges the public to visit the site. There's a lot of truth here, and I think you need to know the history and the truth before you can reconcile. So this is a great place to learn, and it's such a beautiful place to learn with the original school here, with the survivors being active on site. Sisters Jackie Fletcher and Shirley Horn are also founding members of the Children of Shingwak Alumni Association. With regard to truth and reconciliation, Fletcher says the exhibit is a good start. I hope it's not going to take a hundred years to right the wrongs. And we as residential school survivors are really aging now. There's not many of us left. So we need to make sure that the next generation of people carry on our story so this never happens again. The residential school didn't hurt, only hurt the native people. It hurt the, the rest of the population as well because they were, they were excluded from what the country, the country's agenda. And uh, many people didn't know or to this day even know about the residential school. The Shingwak exhibit is a place where stories are shared. I remember this girl. We were in the senior dorm. I don't know what happened. Some kind of trouble took place. She was there. And the next day she was gone. Never heard from her again. I don't know what happened to her. But anyways, yes. Um, this cubby hole. We used to go in there and we would just sit and whisper and talk about home, talk about our brothers and sisters. We might have stolen some bread and we would share the bread in there. Or one of the girls was supposed to be watching out and we, I got caught. They pulled me out of there and beat me up and said, do you like it in there? And pushed me back and said, stay in there. But you could see a little bit of light from around that crack. So I was okay with that and I thought, well, they'll just leave me in here. They gotta come and get me sooner or later because they locked it. They locked me up. Truth and reconciliation is the truth that's being told by survivors, reclaimers, and reconciling with ourselves and with the public. To me, that's how I look at truth and reconciliation. Events are planned all day on September 30th at Algoma University, starting with a sunrise ceremony at 7.30. Also on the 30th, the public unveiling of the Wawanosh School for Girls Memorial will take place in the afternoon. Mike McDonald, APTN National News, Sault Ste. Marie.